Good evening, people. How are you? I say evening because it's like, um, <laughs> let me see. It's exactly 11 o'clock p.m. here. So, hey, everybody else is in bed and I have no work tomorrow and I thought I would try to attempt my cake again. Um, it's going to be a little bit different this time. Um, my throat's bugging the crap out of me. Uh, everybody's telling me it's allergies, but I've never had allergies in my whole life. But oh, It's just so dry. I think it's the air in my house, but oh well. So hopefully my voice does not get on your guys' nerves. <coughs> um, again, we're going to try, I'm going to try this um, soap cake again. So I've got all my oils done. And normally when I make a cake, I don't put any of the goodies in there like the kale and clay or my marshmallow powder or none of that stuff because more than likely people are using it for um, decoration or a conversation piece more than soap. At least that's what they've told me. And my lie. Is it 72? And the oils are about 79, so. <coughs> room temp this time. So if something happens, I can't blame it on the room temp. Last time I, it cracked for some reason. It was cracking bad. That's the first time any of my soaps have ever cracked like that. <coughs> Excuse me. But. <coughs> Let me grab one of these holes real quick. To soothe my throat. Maybe I should just not talk. I should just music over this. Because um, there was something else I wanted to talk about. Um, you know, I don't like ugly because God don't like ugly. But there's a particular... And I'm throwing in my lie now. There's a particular soaper. Looks like she's been doing soap on YouTube for about a year. I used to enjoy her videos until not too long ago I noticed she was adding her <coughs> her goat's milk or <coughs> her yogurt or whatever it is she uses her milk product she was adding that before she put her lie in there so you know I asked her Do you, you know, ever wait, basically, to put your oils or your milk in or after your lye because your lye is going to saponify some of the fats that's in that milk. I've been soaping for a really long time. My grandmother taught me. Matter of fact, all we used to use was bacon grease. Yuck. <laughs> but I know that that lye will saponify some of that um, fat in your milk. So, you know, I just suggested as from one soaper to another that she tries to put the milk in and the yogurt in after her lye and after she spoons. Like, when I, when I use milk, I add it at thin trace. Therefore, my lye has already, <coughs> excuse me, my lye has already saponified most of the fat from the oils in my soap. So I don't have to worry about it so we can get the nutrients that we're wanting from that milk or yogurt or whatever. Anyway, she proceeds to tell me <coughs> that I am, oh, what does she call it? Mm. Criticizing her. No, for one, if, if it was criticizing, it would be... Um, oh, what do they call that? Constructive criticism, number one. Number two, this looks pretty thick now. I'm, I'm going to have to work fast, so if I pause on talking, that's because of this fragrance, that Dove fragrance, it is a very fast mover, so. Number two, all I was doing was suggesting. I wasn't telling her, <coughs> you know, <coughs> you're doing a, 
oh, absolutely wrong. That is not the way you're supposed to do it. Blah, blah, blah. That's not me. But, so I, you know, I, I wrote her back because she wrote me and I wrote her back and blah, blah, blah. And then I was watching another one of her videos today. And she fronts out and she actually says this other soaper's name <coughs> about her using too much lie. She says, I want to scream at this soaper through the phone. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. It's okay for you to criticize somebody else's work. And you even put their name out there. But it's not okay for me to suggest from one soaper to another that you might be doing something. Because she's always wondering why her soap clumps up. Adding your milk before your lie might be the reason. <coughs> but I can't suggest that because I was criticizing her. Anyways. Oh, here goes this. No, wait. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I'm not going to start with the blender because that would just make it... Um, Oh, Lordy Pete, get thick, even more thick faster, so. Mm. Let me save a little bit for the topping, or the piping. All right, we need to move quick here. Okay, let's pour some of this in here. Oh, I hope you guys can see it. I'm never paying attention to that. Oh, now my nose is running. I'm so sorry if you guys got to hear this sniffling the whole time. <laughs> I'm trying not to do it, but I can't particularly rub my nose right now. Okay, this is um, Red Violet Mica from Nurture Soap. I love her Micas. I usually buy them off Amazon because they come faster. And I get free shipping. bit of white over here. Dear Lord, I'm so sorry for the sniffles, guys. But yeah, I just had to bring that up. Like, you're, you're one to talk, talking about me criticizing you. When all I thought I was doing was trying to help, I guess I was mistaken. But then I turn around and watch one of her videos, and she's fronting somebody's name out there like that, so. <coughs> Not cool. Jamie, <coughs> 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 Christmas. Needless to say, I probably will not be watching too many more of her videos. I mean, because... I mean, granted, she is really good at her hot processes. But, I've noticed, and again, everybody soaps differently, but I've noticed she uses a lot of mica for her soap. So, you know, that's something else I've asked her. You know, have you honestly used your own soaps? As she said a few times that she's not getting people buying her soaps. So... Well, maybe some people have bought them and they stay in their rags or something. <laughs> you don't want to go around and stay in people's rags. That's not cool either. All right, here we go. Oh, my goodness. I always like to use the white base on my soap or my pie, my cakes, my soapy cakes. And then I put my color in throughout. You can see it a whole lot better. I'm so sorry. I hope you guys can see this. I was just going to voice over it with the music, but I figured why not. I just want to talk. Plus, I needed to vent about the other soaper. I will not put her name out there like she puts others' names out there. So It's all gravy. No worries. Kuna Matata. 
All right. Hakuna Matata. Let me make sure it's still. Yep. Let me zoom in a little bit. You guys might be able to see a little bit better. Alrighty then. I'm going to go for it up uh, really high here. The rut row. That went off the map. <laughs> uh, we got some over here on the side. That's all right, though. Normally, I'm not a messy soper, but here lately, I am so trying not to sniffle. And there I go, sniffling. Get all them guys out there. Alrighty. Let me stir it around a little bit. Oh, look at that prettiness. Alright. There's the bottom. So now. I'm going to <clears throat> pause you guys and bring it back for the piping mix. Because, you know, as you know, I do two separate mixes here for the piping. Um, so, let me get that ready and I'll pause you and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. I'm sorry, I went ahead and mixed it all up and got it in my wrapper over here. scissors. I don't know if you noticed the last time I piped a bit. I always put mine in a cellophane and then put it in my piping bag. Makes for easy cleanup. Not so much of a mess anyway, you know. <laughs> There's always going to be a mess, but not as much. Hoping it's thick enough to pipe. <clears throat> Hoping you guys can hear me. Well, I got rid of that sniffle, so maybe you won't hear me sniffling as much. Let's just hope this is done. There we go. Sniffling away. I think it's when I start talking. All right. <clears throat> Keep a hold of it, Christina. chance or not. Yeah, I guess it'll do all right. All right. Now, first of all, I'm going to spray my alcohol so it sticks better. Make sure you guys can see me. All right. <clears throat> As you can see, it leaked. So it's not always 100%, <laughs> but it's still... Well, I got little flowers I'm gonna put on top, so that's why I'm making the grassy look here.
<clears throat> Any other time I use this spray rinse, it always gets hard on me quick. Today, for some reason, it's not moving as fast. Of course, it said you want a pipe, Christina. You want a pipe? Why would we move fast? Ah. Uh. I see. Yes. I'm always moving it <clears throat> to adjust to me, and then I can't, I don't pay attention to see if it moves out of the camera like an idiot. That one went over a little bit too far, but oh well. I think we got enough to do one more row and then some on top. See there? Boom. <clears throat> now I have some more back here in a cup. It looks like it's gotten a little harder than what that was, for sure. I don't even know if you guys can see me all the way over there. Can you see me? Nope. Let me move it over here some. See it now? Nope. <laughs> hmm. It's just the piping. I'm just throwing it on the cellophane here. Yeah, you know, like I said about that other soaper, you know, I, I don't like talking about other people. That's why I definitely I won't be mentioning her name. She knows who she is. And I'm not trying to start no YouTube wars, but, you know, all I was trying to do was just suggest something to her. And she come at me basically saying I was criticizing her. That was not the case whatsoever. Whatsoever. And yet, I watch one of your videos and you are straight criticizing somebody else's work and you put her name out there. So, of course, me being me, I said something. And I went and told that soaper as well. Like, you know, so and so is talking about you. It's not any of the popular, popular, popular soapers on here, so. <laughs> None of the great ladies, anyways. And nobody's perfect. I'm not even perfect. I don't try to claim to be, so. No, but when you try to offer your little bit of knowledge that you do know about soaping and she wants to say I'm criticizing, then 
Alrighty then. Enough of that, right? Because I won't be talking to you no more. Obviously, she don't care. She don't think my opinions matter. But, honey, you're wondering why you don't be selling much of your soaps. Hmm. Maybe you should take a good look at all your videos and what you're doing. By the way, I just sold like $93 worth of soaps the other day. Woot woot. Went and got me some new colors and all that good stuff. No method to my piping, just piping. Now I'm just basically trying to cover up holes, gaps, or whatever. Yeah, if I was just flabbergasted when I heard her say something about that girl's lie and how she does too much lie and, and this other super had quite a few videos, honey, so maybe it could have been her temperature or anything. She wanted to jump out at the phone at her, you know, so dramatic. Don't be jumping out at the phone at me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Actually, if you did that, I might be scared. Let's see. Can you guys see where I need any more? Because I got some more left here. It's a little bit in between, maybe. Let's make it look like a dollop, Christina, not a freaking flop. Need to make sure it's heavy enough to hold my embeds. Nice not. That was an air bubble. Okie dokie then. Alright, I think we're good, peoples. Boop. We'll just put our embeds on there. And look. Boop. See, so the bottom's a little messy, but all this stays clean. I think I learned that off of Facebook. And that was actually for a real cake piping. <laughs> My mother-in-law does uh, cakes and cupcakes. She got a real nice mixer for Christmas and <clears throat> I showed her like, hey, have you seen this? <laughs> Why well, did show her? I showed her daughter like, show mom this. Alrighty. Then we got these guys right here. I don't know if you can see them. Little roses. We're going to spray her again. Just a little bit, try to prevent some soda ash. Lord have mercy, I always have soda ash. Okay, don't matter where we put the first one. Just matters where we put the rest, right? Can you guys see? Yep. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh. There's two across, let's see. Doop. 
Make sure it's on there good. And dupe. Right. And in the middle. In the middle. You better watch it or we're gonna get live burn. Alrighty, look at that. Now guess what else we got to add? Dun dun dun, dun. glitter. So start just pooping it on. Oh, this one's pretty. Yes, I go haywire with the glitter. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. I'm so very proud of myself on this one. Uh -huh. Let me get a close-up. Let me make sure I don't hit the button this time. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh heavens. It's so sparkly. Yes. Yep, I'm proud of this one, you guys. Alright, well, I'm going to pause it. And it'll be a day or two for me, but it'll be just a few seconds for y'all. But I'll bring you back for the cutting. God bless and have a great weekend. Good afternoon. Um, I'm back. We're here to cut uh, Little Rosie. That's what I'm going to name this cake. Um, I did cut it in half already to make sure we're good. So, But yes, we're good. So far, so good. She's still a little soft, but it's been almost 48 hours since I made it. So, we're still going to try cutting her in half. And, let's see. Put that over there. This is the part I hate. I'm trying to get it even. Looks pretty even to me. You want to slide your knife out. It's like I got a little chunk over there. I think she's still a little soft in the middle. Even though it's been 48 hours. My throat is feeling a little bit better from the other day. Oh, I didn't cut all the way somewhere. There we go. Icing's still a little soft too. That's a surprise. We didn't do too bad though. That's all right. Can you guys still see me? Yeah. Now I'm gonna bring up that conversation I was having when I was making the cake about the other soaper. I said she was a real good hot process soaper, and she is. But let me just say it is not Kimberly. I believe that's her name, McNutt from Essentials. Uh, she's the hot process queen. Even though she does a lot of cold process, she is the hot process queen. And I love her videos. Um, so she is not who I am referring to when I was making my cake. Um, uh, again, I don't want to mention no names because I don't throw people under the bus like that. I, it was just something that was bothering me and I wanted to bring up. So... You know, the whole thing with me just giving advice to her about when she's adding her milk and her um, milky products and that other stuff, you know, that was just advice and she's going to come at me silly, but yet she can come at somebody else silly and call their name out on it. I don't want to seem like I'm a mean soaper because I'm not at all. God don't like ugly. But when I see... You're yelling at me for something I'm doing, or well, that you think I'm doing, 
towards you. Yeah, you see another soaper doing something supposedly wrong, and you can speak on it in your video. So, I just wanted to make things clear that I am not a mean person. It's just something that was bothering me. Alrighty, there's our first piece. Isn't she lovely? And I'm calling this Little Rosie. Just got a little bit of stuff on the side here, but that's all good. I'm not even going to mess with it, though. But, oh my goodness, so sparkly and pretty. I love it. I love making cakes. Okay, I got another one I want. I have a mind I want to make, too, so. And I just got aggravated. I tried to make, it looks like we got chunk missing here. But that's all right. We could fix that or just leave it. <laughs> Um, I tried making bath, bubble bath, um, bubble bars for the first time. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> Whoa, it had me agitated. Let me go get them real quick. There is my bubble bars. Yeah. I mean, they smell good, but they're like extremely soft. Um, so I'm not even sure if they, they're going to, you're supposed to let them set and cure, I think, for 24 hours, but, yeah. I'm not even sure if they're, I mean, when I washed my hands and my stuff that I was messing with them, or, you know, making them with it, it made awesome bubbles, so, I mean, even if they don't get hard, <laughs> yeah, see, they're extremely soft here, but, and they smell so good, I used, um, Super Lavender. Uh, fragrance for these so we will see I'll have to show you in my next video a couple videos how they turned out but that was something new way different from my cakes here don't bark dog I don't want to have to voice over this video Yay! So pretty. Oh, little Rosie. So pretty. There's the other piece. Some pretty swirls. Looks like a strawberry shortcake, really. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, it's a little soft, but not too soft, so. Watch when you're cleaning off your knife, y'all. Oh, neighbor dog's gonna bark, so it's gonna get my dog barking. I hope not. Don't start, boy. I'll try to get through this before somebody ruins my video. <coughs> ah, I knew he was gonna do that. Chewy, it's enough. You're so nosy. He's annoying. I love your new pieces, but he's annoying. It's like another child. Let me get this cut real quick. Oh, did we get that one? I don't think I... Oh, my rose just came off a little bit. Yeah, I'm not digging that. We're gonna have to be careful with her. Dang, nab it. That's all right. I'll fix her up later. I got a barking dog in the background. Don't start. Your bark is extremely loud, dude. Oh, I always cut from the back so I can yeah that's still extremely soft in the middle normally after 48 hours I'm pretty good
should just wait till nighttime to do all this stuff. Everybody's in bed and nobody's letting neighbor dogs out. And my dog's not getting angry. <laughs> okay. Um. There she is, folks. Sparkly and pretty. Yeah, she didn't turn out so bad, did she? Everybody said it looks like a wreath. I said I was trying to look like a rose bush. So now that it's not round, it looks more like a rose bush a little bit, I guess. All right. And there she be. There's little Miss Rosie. Wipe my hands off so I can get the camera down and get closer. Actually, you guys are pretty close already, though. All right. Well, that's it. That's little Rosie. And I thank you for joining me, and thanks for watching. If you like, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Have a blessed day.